Well, a bilateral imbalance by itself need not be a major cause for concern. If you look at the Chinese balance of payments as a whole, it's far more equilibrated because China is a manufacturing economy currently, which sucks in huge quantities of raw materials, sub sub subcomponents, supplies uh, from a whole network of regional suppliers, and then pumps those out as exports. So China's macroeconomic balance is not fundamentally out of whack. Uh, if you look at its growth pattern over the last 10 years, net exports, so the difference between imports and uh, exports, make a very insignificant contribution to Chinese growth. Um, if you look at the bilateral basis, however, you see these fundamental disequilibria. Um, and the Chinese, I think, have a point when they say that this is a two-sided story. Obviously, China is a super competitive manufacturing economy, and the United States granted it preferential access to the US market. But the other thing to say is, of course, that America's own domestic demand balance is grossly out of, out of line with equilibrium. What drives uh, foreign trade are, are two factors, price and demand. And the price of Asian exports is obviously extremely competitive. It depends a little bit on the exchange rate, but they compete strongly on that side. But the other variable is the total aggregate of demand in the US economy. And if the economy, for instance, is, goes into a recession, as it did in 2008, 2009, then American imports almost automatically shrink when the American economy be begins to recover, especially if the American economy is an outlier believe it or not, relatively speaking, amongst the rich countries in the speed at which it's growing, then exports get sucked into the uh, American market. But it doesn't necessarily mean a fundamental weakness in the global economy. Overall, the Chinese economy is relatively balanced. Um, there's, no, there's no reason why America's problem of fiscal politics, which is largely driven by the tax-cutting agenda of one of its parties, um, should necessarily be characterized as a fundamental global problem. China has been growing at the rate it's been growing recently, which isn't as fast as it used to grow, but is nevertheless very rapidly, largely through domestic demand. So it's very difficult to say that this constitutes a fundamental global problem. Um, it certainly does constitute a problem of America's political economy.